today we're going to install Hey guys, it's Cake. Long time no see. Sorry, I haven't made a video for a really long time. I've been working on a project called Necomon. Uh, it's almost finished, so I'm going to have some videos for that coming up soon. But today, I'm going to show you guys how to install Homebrew using Ninja Hacks on your 2DS or 3DS or even new 3DS. Um, the reason I'm going to show you how to set up Homebrew is, for my purposes, it's going to let us do some of the uh, Pokemon editing. We're going to be able to hack all the Mons like we could with the QR codes and RAM to save and all that fun stuff. So the awesome thing about this Ninja Hacks exploit, this works all the way up until the newest firmware. So today I'm going to show you how to install Homebrew using the Ninja Hacks method. If you don't know what homebrew is, it basically lets you run homemade software and tools. This particular homebrew, you can play games from other regions. It's entirely safe. It doesn't actually change your DS in any way. You're just throwing some files on your SD card. So you can always delete them, and then you'll be, like, fresh, like new. Now let's move on to setting up Ninja Hacks. I'm currently using a Japanese 3DS and Japanese Cubic Ninja, but it works exactly the same on the English version. I will be making an updated video with the English version when I get my new 3DS capture card in the English game. But for now, just follow along. It doesn't really matter the language. Here's what you're going to need in order to run this. You're going to need a 2DS, 3DS, or new 3DS with firmware 9.0.0-7 through 10.1 dot zero dash 27 right now which is the newest firmware uh, as of now you're also gonna need the game uh, cubic ninja you're gonna need an SD card reader and be able to plug your SD card into your computer the first thing you need to do uh, to get going here is to go to this URL and this is where you're gonna get the uh, files you need to run ninja hacks and we're gonna generate a QR code here so just scroll down a little bit to where you get to how do I run Ninja Hacks and download the Homebrew Starter Kit. Okay, now take your SD card from your 3DS, plug it into your computer, and you're going to unzip that starter.zip file. I've already unzipped mine and I have them in a folder called Starter right here. So there's boot.3dsx, uh, a folder called 3DS and game config. Uh, I recommend just take all that and just drag it right on into your SD card, all of it. The next thing you're going to want to do after copying that information to your SD card is just real quick, make sure that your internet connection is working. The first time you set it up, you need to have an internet connection. So just go ahead and open your browser and just search something. Just search anything. It doesn't matter. As long as you can see something come up in the Google results, uh, you're good to go. Okay, the next thing you're going to need to do is check the firmware version that you're running. So go ahead and click go to settings on this wrench icon. And then on the top screen, at the bottom right hand side, it's going to show your version number. So you need to know that for the next thing we're going to do. On the Ninja Hacks page, scroll down to get Ninja Hacks. If you have a new 3DS, choose new. If you have a regular 3DS or an old one, choose old and then just put the firmware number in that is on your DS and then click update QR code. It's gonna give you this nice fancy QR code here. Okay, so you got your SD card with the brand new files on it. You got your QR code generated. Now it's time to boot your Cubic Ninja game. If you bought the game used, I recommend formatting it real quick. There's a guide I have linked in the description or at the end that's gonna show you how to format the cartridge. But for now, I'm just gonna assume you have it formatted. So when you get to the main screen, press A then go to edit, then go to QR code, and that QR code, we're gonna click this top one to use the camera, and we're gonna scan the QR code that we just made. All right, and then your system's gonna look kinda glitched out for a second, and then you're gonna be asked if you wanna install, blah, 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 just press A, okay. Success! All right, and now we're booted up into the homebrew launcher. So this is what we needed to do here. This is this was the goal. So next time that you want to uh, load up Homebrew, you don't have to do all that all those steps anymore. You got the files already on your SD card. You got the QR code already scanned. So to get into Homebrew, enter the game Cubic Ninja, press A, 
go to edit and then select QR code and it's gonna just boot up the homebrew once you're in homebrew uh, you don't even need the game cartridge in anymore so you can take it out like you can see I did here and you can still use stuff uh, that's gonna be important for other tutorials for backing up uh, save files or hacking the mons uh, but for now that's all you need to do and that gets homebrew uh, the homebrew launched with ninjax if you're potentially worried about screwing anything up with your console and you want to just play it safe uh, we actually have some 2ds units with cubic ninja and the homebrew exploit already installed like a pre-packaged deal on pokedit.com so if you just want a unit and it'll have save manager for pokemon editing uh, already installed so if you don't want to mess with your ds and you just want a unit just for doing homebrew stuff we do have some available that help support us. Uh, we also have uh, what I call unlock 2DSs on the site, uh, which are 2DS units that still let you run the QR code methods and RAM to save, which in my opinion are way more easier for editing, but either way works, or you can just install Homebrew on your own. Either way is cool. Please check out the other videos for if you need to format your Ninja Hacks game or if you want to learn how to run Re Save Manager so you can back up and restore your Pokemon files, which is going to let you use PK Hacks and hack and get items and Pokemon and edit everything and have a really fun, good, awesome time. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, please. It'll help me out, supports us. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I love you guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.